Well, I think the, the title is very interesting. I don't know. Uh, Gentle Judge Jesus the Lord. And the Pope Francis speaks about the salvation of souls being the supreme law of the church. It's not that you're going to uh, do away with the teaching on marriage, but you will be compassionate in a way in which you interpret that and indeed uh, try to assist people to really have their status sorted out uh, rapidly within the church. So uh, the tribunals joyfully receive this motor proprio coming from the Pope on this very important issue where we know uh, many marriages break down and people need to resolve their situation within the church. The new uh, document comes into operation in December, three months after the motor proprio, which really says from the Pope's hand come, was issued there uh, yesterday in Rome. In the old regime, you might call it the old regime, but it's still the present regime, uh, applications for a nullity had to really go through two tribunals, get an answer in the first tribunal, and, and order, had to automatically go for a hearing in the second tribunal. And uh, so that's radically changed uh, what's going to happen there. Also, in the previous uh, system, you had three judges, only one of whom could be a lay person. Now to the new regime, it talks about three judges, but only one of them needs to be a cleric. So that really means you could have a deacon and two lay people as the, the, the judges on a case. It also does allow for uh, the bishop's conference to consider just having a, a one judge. And if there's just one judge, well then that necessarily will be a cleric on the, on the case. Now people will be able to approach the local tribunal where they are and that tribunal will have what you call competence. They'll be able to hear the case. And that wasn't always the case, that if somebody was married overseas, then in fact you may have to send the case overseas. Now this says quite clearly if either of the parties to the marriage or the marriage itself took place in a particular diocese, those places can hear it without really having to get consents from anyone else. That's certainly going to simplify the thing. It's going to make the tribunals more accessible to people, I believe, and indeed with the process with blatantly null cases, and sometimes they're obvious with marriages that don't last very long, or everybody could see the writing on the wall even before they got married, then in fact uh, that's going to simplify things. I think there will be shorter time frames, but sometimes people ask when they come in, how long is this going to take? And it's really not the question. The question is, you know, have you got grounds for a case and how do we go about proving it? And which is the system we're going to use? And I think that's going to be more focused in future as to whether this is a complicated case, whether people are consenting to things, whether there's opposition. So I believe with the cases where they're straightforward, there's no opposition, I believe these cases will be handled much more quickly. We're very fortunate here in this diocese that you have an operative uh, office of the tribunal and indeed people would still make that approach there to the tribunal and they'd be interviewed and I think from that first interview it should be able to work out as to whether this is a straightforward type of case or whether it's a, a complicated case and it really from there there'll be some direction given as to uh, what path they will take and uh, how quickly the matter can be heard. And the situation is when a judgment's given, it's not going to mean it's going to have to be sent interstate, which is the case at the moment. Any of the matters which are solved within New South Wales have to be sent to one of the, one of the tribunals interstate. Well, if there's no appeal, and then in fact that's not going to be required in future. So that certainly will shorten the space of time and will lessen even from this tribunals in New South Wales having to hear cases coming from other, other states. So there certainly will be a, a, a lessening of the workload for people working in tribunals and I think that will speed up the process completely.